Bates did, the 20 years um, leading this program and the championships and national championship, but also just um, for so many players, um, and myself included, and um, leading us into the futures of our lives and being prepared for jobs outside of baseball and um, what guys are doing. It is truly an honor that um, even retiring a number is probably not even enough. And then um, Judgy, somebody that's represented this program at the highest level, winning awards, records, all that stuff, but more importantly, how he's done it and represented our program. Um, a gigantic offer or honor for both of them that honestly, the number, I don't even know if that's enough for what they deserve. So how long was this in the works? Uh, it's been coming for a while now, obviously. And, um, some stuff with scheduling and um, with what Aaron's doing and being on the East Coast. So this able to work out good with a football game and then do something here on Sunday um, will be really exciting. And, and what is the plan for that? I mean, we just know it's taking place at 1 o'clock on Sunday. I think Holly said it is open to the public. Do you have, like, you know, the pomp and circumstance, like a grandiose plan for that? Can you share any of those details with us, or is it uh, wait and see? Yeah, we're getting some, some stuff in the works, but I think the general idea is here. Um, we're going to scrimmage that afternoon after, so um, be good for fans to come out and um, see Aaron and see Bates and, and do the, the program here on the field and um, I think some questions and see how many Bulldogs we can get out here that day and, and really just be a great weekend of Bulldog baseball. Any particular reason why they're both being honored at the same time rather than each having their own days for their individual contributions? Uh, I don't know. I um, mean, I think they both, um, again, you, one day or one honor and just their number, uh, there's so much more that that they deserve for their contributions to this program. But them, I think both of them coming in together, I know they're both excited to, to share the weekend and share the time and have their numbers um, here in the stadium forever. You have a personal relationship with both of them, obviously. You coach with Batesel for a number of years. You coach Judge, and we've talked about it enough, how, uh, you know, how you actually threw to him when he won the home run derby at the TD Ameritrade Park. Um, anything from a personal standpoint that you'd like to say about what these two individuals are as men, in addition, of course, to their contributions to Fresno State? Yeah, I think first with Bates, I mean, somebody that came 20 years of his life to this program of coming here every single day and um, dedicating to this team, the program, uh, the alumni, the community, uh, raised his family here as Bulldogs. And again, um, I can't, I mean, doing one day and just honoring their number, um, there's so much more that they deserve to that. And um, for Aaron, I've said it so much that his time here, um, for as long as I've been in this program, somebody that was here in those cages as long as he was, extra time in the weight room, always here extra working, and the work ethic um, that's carried him to who he is today um, is truly remarkable. That's what I got if anyone else wants to jump in. Is it a free event on uh, Sunday? I believe so, yes. Okay. That's what I read, so if I read that wrong. <laughs> Coach, Holly? We know, that's... Have, we know you have a close relationship with um, Judge. Just what was his initial reaction when you two spoke after he found out? Yeah, actually, the, the, we actually got the word to him going into last season, um, really. So it was a really good honor that um, um, Terry Toomey was there to, to give him the word and to his family and um, something that means a lot to his family um, with, with Wayne and Patty being Bulldogs too and Aaron here. Um, and I think it means a lot for knowing that his name and number will be here out here for the stadium forever. Definitely means a lot to their family. How often does he come back? I mean, I know he'll kind of have those sneak in, sneak out visits. He recorded that um, the, the Blood Center commercials here too. Um, is he back often in, in the off season? And when he does this, he always try to stop in and say hi to you guys and meet with the team. Yeah, he comes by when he can. I mean, I think the biggest thing with, with Aaron, he, he can't hide anywhere, right? That's a big, big, recognizable guy that people are going to know who he is. And obviously the time on the East Coast and spends a lot of time in Florida in the off season, but obviously family's still here in the area, and it's just a joy. Anytime we can get him around the program and the team um, is just a joy. Having his name up there, how does that recruit for recruitment and that kind of stuff go? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, for our players and future Bulldogs to come here, not only with Aaron, but so many other great players that have played here that have gone on to have the professional success, it means a lot. And not only just with our baseball program, with football and basketball, to be able to see when guys come here, you can go play at the highest level and be major league all-stars and set records and do that here at Fresno State. And yeah, that's huge for recruiting and for our current players to see that every day. Um, not just the individuals, but the teams that have come before them is a huge part to this department. 